Yet another serene lake in Bengaluru, the Kundlahalli Lake is now bombarded with sewage inflows and garbage. But the residents are not giving up. They are done with complaining. In a unique initiative this time around, companies and residents have joined hands together to reclaim their lake. Lakshmi Sivdas joins the residents to find out what's happening. I'm here at Kundalahalli Lake, a lake that once used to be a walker's paradise and where birds used to nest. Today, this has met the same fate that most lakes in Bengaluru has. For one thing, there are large amounts of sewage inflow that goes into this lake. There's a lot of garbage dumping around it and also a lot of debris. But um, it looks like the fate of this lake is set to change, all thanks to a few concerned citizens and citizen activists. Uh, so, just to start off, can you tell me what is the extent of damage that this lake has been seeing? Yeah, this lake has seen considerable damage. As you mentioned, uh, there is the problem of sewage flow uh, getting into the lake, which is uh, an environmental concern. Then there's a lot of um, construction debris. You can, in fact, we are standing on top of construction debris. Only a few months ago, this was swampy, uh, marshy land. Can you tell me how you've seen this lake deteriorating over the years? See, I've been here for the past six years. Mm -hmm and we have formed a group to have a look at the lake. Uh, number one, the extent of the lake is considerably, is getting reduced, not considerably, getting reduced. The point is the government is moving slow and I think that is where, uh, you know, people like Qualcomm and what uh, the Brookfield, uh, you know, people have done and the Whitefield Rising team have done in terms of bringing the public and the corporates together to uh, figure out a way to, you know, solve some of these problems. What exactly uh, this public-private partnership entails uh, and then I'll get to you about what the company itself is planning on doing. Certainly an expensive solution, but nevertheless, it is possible to do it, which is to just collect all the sewage that is coming, incoming to the lake mm -hmm. and build a sewage treatment plant. And that is what we are doing, and we are doing that uh, with the help of private funds. The government has helped us uh, in getting approvals and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And private parties have come forward to, uh, to actually invest their money in local CSR, in local environment. Sure. So setting up the STP is of course a main pl uh, plan uh, for rejuvenating this lake and it's an expensive proposition. That's where Qualcomm has uh, stepped in. Um, what prompted your company to uh, go ahead and uh, you know, go ahead with this mission? So to start with, uh, the lake is really at our background, uh, in our backyard. Um, and so uh, you know, when we saw the level of uh, uh, enthusiasm and energy in the citizens, uh, Whitefield Rising and the residents of this place, uh, even the positive energy from the government in terms of supporting this kind of thing, um, you know, we felt that we had uh, you know, a need to step forward. What I'm glad to say today is after about nine months of working on this, we have a solution, we funded it, we've got the first STP going. We look forward to many more solutions like this in the future. When you talk about the STP plant itself, how different is this from uh, what the government generally deploys? Is it going to be more efficient? So this is one very important thing, there's no energy involved. With Bangalore having a lot of power cuts, if you have an STP which, which works on energy, mm -hmm. then it wouldn't work at all. Mm -hmm. So that is the main thing about this. Secondly, it is underground. Mm -hmm. On top of that, you could have a road or you could have a garden or you could have a uh, lawn or something. So nobody will know that there is an STP underground. So these are the two big features of this STP. Final question, again there is still the problem of encroachment and if you see the debris still there and this part of the lake has been encroached upon as well. Um, do you think you would be able to do something about that? See, we uh, citizens in their individual capacity obviously cannot do anything about encroachment, but we can push the government mm -hmm. authorities, which we are, to, uh, to set the lines and to say that this is public property and that side of the line is private property. So you're right, encroachment is a very major issue. This dumping and this general abuse of public, private, public property mm -hmm. Is a, is a major issue and it comes down to political will, it comes down to police enforcement, it comes down to the Tasildar doing his job and so on and so forth. I'm very confident all these problems will eventually get resolved and it has been resolved in several lakes. So there it is, a unique public-private partnership between citizens, uh, companies in the area and the BBMP to rejuvenate the Kundalhali Lake. From Bengaluru, with camera person Nazir, Lakshmi Shivdas for NDTV.